Welcome everybody to Zach's Tips and Tricks. So today we're gonna to go over a common question I get and just the general topic of what to eat before a workout. Okay, so this is my opinion. I love apples and peanut butter. Uh, and I'll go over all the reasons, break down everything with it, little, little tricks we're gonna go into here as you can see the setup. So first thing I wanna get into is basically why. Why is it one of the better pre-workout meals, okay? Um, and the reason behind that is, is it's very well balanced, okay? So let's go over what you need in order to, to deliver a good workout with, with high energy, okay? So you need some good fats, which is what our peanut butter is going to provide us with, okay? Good, healthy fats, all right? Uh, a little bit of protein. Protein is not your major source of energy, but you do want a little bit of, uh, not to get too science-based, but uh, you want a good nitrogen balance in your body, which is what the protein is going to provide. So based on how much we're going to take, uh, intake here, it's going to be about seven grams of, of, uh, of protein here. So not insanely high. That's more of a recovery macro that we need after our workouts. Okay. And then we're going to get some good carbs. Okay. That's going to come from your natural sugars, your apples. Okay. Your, your carbs that provide is your major source of energy. And there are a little bit that's going to be provided with about one gram of sugar out of this, the natural sugar. There's, it's impossible to cut out all sugar. Okay. So we might as well take advantage of the natural stuff that we can get and use its benefits of some, some natural energy, not artificial sugar that's gonna crash us, okay? So now we know the why, let's go over the timing. So with a meal like this, which provides very little starchy or it doesn't require much digestion, uh, we can move this up a little bit closer to the workout, such as 30 minutes, uh, long duration, such as 45, shorter, maybe 20 minutes is where you wanna eat this before your workout, okay? Next, let's go over your cost. Very cheap, and I always get this complaint, is eating healthy is expensive, all right? That's just an excuse, okay? Type of apples, whatever you like. Uh, I like Pink Ladies, Fuji's, um, Honey Crisp are the absolute favorite. You're gonna look at an average about $2 a pound. So what that's gonna equate to, depending on the size, apple, roughly a dollar an apple. So say you work out three times a week, $3 right there. Okay, I got this Teddy's peanut butter, uh, the all natural stuff, which I'll get into. Uh, I believe this was on sale. I got it for three dollars, and this is going to last you two, three, maybe even a month. Okay, so you're looking at for a month, three bucks a week, so twelve dollars, an additional three, fifteen bucks. And you have uh, a serving of a vegetable, a good energy for your workouts, uh, a long workout. Okay, so now we got the cost out of the way. Next thing that we want to go into is the type of peanut butter. That's the big thing, and you're gonna, I'm going to get into the, the, the little uh, tricks. Uh, that's about all we're going to get into today. So I like the all-natural peanut butter, such as Teddy's. I do believe Smucker's makes a natural one as well. It's a little bit better than you know, the Skippy's uh, processed stuff. Why? You have natural oils in this, okay? So it's going to have lower saturated fat, which is not your good fat. It's not gonna have any trans fat, also not a good fat, lower sugar, a little bit higher protein, okay? Longer shelf life. All right, so there, there's a million reasons why we wanna take this, all right? Over the skippies, all right? So let's just get that out of there, all right? We don't need that anymore. Let, let's concentrate on these. So first trick we're gonna go into, natural peanut butter, such as Teddy's or you know, Smucker's has some, there's probably some other ones I'm making out there, but I'm not making a pitch for them store it upside down. Reason being is you have those natural oils. Okay, so if I store it like this, I go to open this up, okay, it's gonna be all dried out at the, the top, okay, and all the oil is gonna be at the bottom. I don't have to get a workout just to scrape up all those natural oils and mix it up. Now, I store mine upside down, I open it, oh, it's all that good peanut butter right on the top, look at that, okay? Takes the leg work out of it, okay? So store it upside down. Next thing, go to Walmart, go to Dollar Tree, get one of these little guys for like a buck, okay? Now you don't have to spend time cutting up your apple. I know we're talking minuscule time, but I mean still. This guy goes right through the core, for those of you that haven't seen it, boom. Oh, juice is everywhere. Look at that. Perfect little apple. I got my slices. Perfect, okay? Tablespoon is a serving. Go for a serving, maybe a serving and a half. Uh, depending on your body size, honestly, put it on a plate, dip it in, 20 minutes later, you're working out. All right, there you go. So that's your answer for uh, 
when, where, how, why, how much to get that pre-workout meal in. All right, give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this. I love to do more tips and tricks uh, on all various uh, topics. All right, cheers.